December 5th, 22. Okay. They still showed up this morning. So you know what I did? I started playing the tapes. Do you know I make the tapes not only to send in video statements to the police and the FBI and the Department of Justice. Okay. Um, but I get tired of repeating myself. And with these people keep falling for it. It's easier since my car's bugged from the protect lie case and these idiots hacked into it and sold it. That I just leave the video playing in the car and then nobody finds it funny and they'll come in a store and say something. Mm -hmm. It just makes it easier. I get tired of it. You know, even with Saturday morning, December 3rd, 22, Michelle and I worked on Turquoise Street in Canton um, between 7 and 3, 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. My car's bogged. Okay. Michelle's out there. Some girl's like, no one showed up here today. Is that what's going on? You're just stealing uh, all the money from the case? She's like, yes. And if you don't tell anybody, uh, I'll give you money. And she's like, you're just stealing? None of that was her. Yes, none of those tapes were her. It was just us stealing them all the money from the case. You don't tell I'll give you money. It's like, tell on her. You want a full confession? My car is still bogged from the protected line case. Huh? You know, I was talking to this one retired, he just retired him like the last year. Sheriff. Okay. I told him, I said, I, I never got my housing money. I never got my insurance card. I never got my living expenses and the money they did. What do you mean I didn't get anything else on the phone went dad? He's like, what happened? So either somebody interrupted our phone call or he was so upset he dropped the phone. He called back. He's like, what do you mean you didn't get it? I went on witness protection program page. It says flat out they pay for your housing for the rest of your life. Hmm? It says that they give you living expenses for the rest of your life and an income. And they also give you a medical card because they're trying to protect you in 24 hour police surveillance at home and protection, trying to keep you safe. Our government, I was looking up, it's either 700 or $958 billion was paid trying to protect people in witness protection programs. Being in an informant program is the same thing as a witness protection program. Uh, yeah. Police can, and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life. They have to speak to everyone before they start or it's abuse and misconduct that goes into the right of privacy, illegal search and seizure. Okay. You have the right to be safe and secure in your own home. Okay. You also have the right, the fifth, the right to remain quiet. You also have the sixth, a right to an attorney. The seventh, to a fair court trial, Malamon. Eighth, not to be mistreated. And the first, a freedom of speech. Okay? I told, I, I've been playing it over and over again that even on, what was it, December 2nd, one of the guys that have worked the case since the beginning, where I'm at Wendy's with my day hat between 11 and 1230. I finally get to sit down. Wendy's and Alliance. Okay. They have audio and tape and my phone's bugged. The, he comes in. He said, that's the one that, um, that church tried to have killed. He's like, yes. Okay. He said, I've worked the case since the beginning. He said, it's only that man trying to steal every dime from this case. And he's been stealing since the first day. He said, and that's the only thing going on. And everyone knew he was stealing all the money from the case and nobody said a word. He said, if that's what's going on, we need to go out and talk. And I thought, oh, dear God. He said it in front of everyone in Wendy's. And there's cameras in there. And my phone's fucked. Okay. November uh, 30th, 22, I'm in Altman Family Physicians. It's across the street from Altman Hospital. My phone's bugged, car, da, 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 da. Plus, they have big old cameras outside. I have an appointment. I'm there for several hours. I go to leave. And my one son, Danny's in there with my grandson, Daniel. And he stops me and I go back and I talk to him to go back. He's getting bullied out of this. Okay. They sold the law again. And I talk to him till uh, they got called back and I go to leave. And Dave's girlfriend's and her friend is out there. Okay. That kid is getting bullied and we all know it. And it was my dad set up in there in her house. And it didn't matter. I was dating Dave and he's the one that did it to her. Yes, it does. 
conflict of interest, one to ten. For every constitutional right broke, one to ten and up to a million dollar fine. It matters big time. Okay. So that's November 30th, 22. And you can see there's big old cameras out night. Okay. Her and her friend standing there yelling stuff at me. Altman Family Physicians is right across the street from Altman Hospital. Okay. Then uh, December 1st, 22, Stark County Library on Market Street. I take my day hat there and some women follow me in. We all heard that girl admit it was her dad doing it to her before. And it does too matter she was dating Dave. Okay. You go back to November 18th, 22. Walmart 62. Hair salon. I'm getting my hair fixed. And uh, that Eric comes in between 2 and 6 p.m. They got a camera right outside it and one inside the hair salon. It was my idea to say we taped her before. Ha, 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 ha. And for these people to all turn on her and fall for it, and it was all me and not her. Ha, 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 ha. And they actually fell for it. Ha, 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 ha. The guy said, if it's just you, ha, ha, I could even fix it. He said, I know it's that bad. It is just me. And he's laughing, and they walk off. November 24, 22, Mercy Medical in Canton, Ohio. I'm in there. I had got food poisoning. Okay. And then the nurse in there actually goes to leave my room. There's a lady out there. She's like, we all heard that Eric made fun of us for falling for this. No one will ever say a word to her again. The lady's like, well, the agent that bullied her into saying she was lying when she wasn't. Some of those men even ran experiments on her. I told them she better not have permanent damage. None of this is funny. And they're starting to realize how not funny this is. Okay. And I found out no one's even ever said anything bad, really bad about her before. It's actually that bad. And they're in there grumpy. Okay? Get an idea. Thanksgiving of 18, uh, where my ex-daughter-in-law, Melissa, was friends with the agent's daughter, Michelle. They did have one set of my grandkids make up some mean games to pretend. And police protected custody that they were followed around and they got caught. Melissa got caught telling the kids to lie. And the kids dating on Thanksgiving of 18 that the house wasn't meant for grandma. It was meant for Auntie Shell and Papa and grandma needs to get out. And then later on to my other granddaughter, Flora, for we're making everything up. Their games to pretend. Even January 12, 22, Walgreens, North Main at 4.58 p.m. Sheriff John was one of my um, bodyguards, and he stopped uh, uh, goons at the door when I was getting my COVID virus uh, booster. He said, what did those kids get caught stating? They made everything up. Mass on police are documenting me games that pretend. Okay? I can give you a list of being drugged and told to say stuff and photoshopped a shower scene. And I can ramble it off as fast as anything, and I'm tired of it. I'll tell you what, even in front of my one client last year, October 5th, 21, Huntington Bank, Cleveland Avenue. I don't want Melissa getting no money out of this. Okay? Inside the bank. He said, uh, she, they said, that's okay. They knew they made everything up. They didn't want anybody to help her. We go to leave. He's like, well, who's that crazy Melissa they're all talking about? It's like the ex-daughter-in-law friends with the ex's girlfriend. And um, had the kids make up a bunch of lies in front of the police. He's like, she's crazy. I said, I know she is. They're documented mean games or pretend as Maslin police put it. And some Star County sheriffs were laughing. Oh, about a year ago, May. That if Kurt just found out those kids were lying, all those kids were lying, he is fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I I told you, even at the Oakland apartment, December 9, 21, 4 p.m., all the tapes before with them and not me, and it's just a bunch of men doing crimes down here. December 9, 21, white man ball with dark eyes distributing food on the Star Cutting Hunger Task Force on 9th Street. Came out and said, we always knew the tapes before with them and not her, so we never said a word. Okay. By Christmas, we're back in there. Uh, security's walking around. No form is here. No one's to say a word to her. Two guy investigators walk out of the back. We're mad that guy knew they did everything, all this to her before, and didn't say a word. And some guy named Eric trying to help him get away with it, and we don't know who he is yet. Okay, that's where November 24th, 21, Altman's dad care on Wales Road, our emergency room is a little one. Um, I have my client in there 
8.40 in the morning, a masculine officer in uniform comes in. I'm here to watch her. There's a Steve and Eric stalking her, and we don't know who they are yet. And it's finally got funny after everything they did. Nothing's admissible. No, it's not. Now, do you want me to also, my client on Chapler Church Road, uh, the White House where the uh, driveway bumps into it, um, they told her in March that all the tapes were, uh, for were them and not me. Mm-hmm. Everything was drugged and photoshopped. All these people have went to the camp police and investigators. Along with February 2nd, 22, Burlington Co. Factory, some man amidst a drug of me and told me to say it. Same thing, January 19, 22, Department of Disability, that I was drugged and told to say it before March, uh, what was it, 24th, 22, 1, 1, they admitted to framing me outside. Uh, my car's bugged. Uh, and then even the neighbors came out and said stuff. And then even my client out on Turquoise Street in Canton, the neighbor, because they sold a log and we all heard that bastard admit to framing you. May 12th, 22, Bubba was a restaurant, six, eight men on the patio screaming, my car is bugged too, of, uh, finding a, because the only time you would touch yourself like that is showering. Because you're trying to figure out what they're describing. And when they said they were going to put two clips together, put me in a porn, it's not me, it's MR 2nd to the 3rd, 21, um, so, yeah, and it's like what you're describing is showering, right? And I walk outside, I used to smoke. Um, she figured out what they did, okay? So that goes to May 26, 22, KFC, that the shower scene was done on purpose. May 12, 22, Bubba's restaurant. We found a tape of those boys admitting a shower scene in the other room. Um, let's see, May 25th, 21, 6 p.m., with the church people breaking in before drug me and tell me say weirdo stuff. Uh, 8, 9, 21, first thing in the morning, apartment building for me, second close offense, rat it out, Dave. And then they talked to the police a few days later, 1295, Fairland, middle apartment, apartment, little white lady screamed at him for doing it, and then she talked to several people. Uh, all kinds of people have went to the camp and police and investigators on this, um, so... Not like they said, not, none of this is funny. I've never been questioned or wrongdoing. I've never been prosecuted. I've never been found guilty. They made everything up for all these people to fall for it. And they're laughing at them. See, the first month, some weird man came up to me. Uh, for every idle word you tell on us, I'll turn on you. And I'm looking. I'm like, who are you? You try to leave Dave. I'll list you a trauma monster. I'm like, who are you? How would you like some weirdo just come out and say that to you? Like, He's like, you know that bruise on your leg? And it's way up by my private area, by my hip. And I'm like, yeah. And I had woke up throwing up, had this big bruise. He's, now I've never seen it before. He's like, uh, I use sodium pentothal on you. Do you know what you told me? Now, I've never talked to him. He said, you bent over and probably you were wearing this one nightgown and they accidentally seen your butt and I'll list you a child molester for it. I'm like, who? This man's admitting to breaking and entering, date rape drugging me, and telling me to say this stupid stuff, and then threatening me with his crimes, okay? Under attempted murder, okay? Because you drug somebody up like that, it's attempted murder. And the investigator's around, and so they already knew I was drugged and framed, because he's already admitting he was been doing it. And they, this was their plan. So I got away from him. I went home in a, in a legally bogged house. I'm like, Dave... I always wear the grandma nightgown underwear and a house coat when the grandkids are over before. I know that. I said, or like and sweater and a house coat when the grandkids are over. I know that. I said, besides the grandma nightgown down on my knees and some laces I kept from you, I didn't even own that nightgown. He's like, I know that. Okay. I said, I just bought everything last year. I didn't own it three years before. He didn't know what he was talking about. He was dragging me up and telling me to say crazy crap like that and then threatening me. And I had no idea who he was. And Dave admitted I was always modest in front of everybody. He also defended me on tape. That I was good to the kids. I was good to the grandkids. Of course, I taped him. And that I would never hurt anyone. But when people are showing up saying they're drugging you and telling you to say stuff like that. And you have bruises and you're throwing up. And people are breaking your house, stabbing you. And you're getting sick on drink. It's called cover your own ass. Um, like the one investigator said, we were never interested in you. My whole family spoke highly of me. They even set up for my client last year for Christmas in Walgreens. Uh, Maslin, her family really did speak highly of her before. Then June 23rd to July 4th of 21, by Wal in Walmart 62 by the pain aisle to investigators, what are these people talking about? She's never heard anybody. We interviewed her whole family a long time ago. Um, let's see. 
October 2020, three investigators work in a case where we all know this one was innocent. The main officer that went today, now Dave, he was at CSE Bank on uh, Market Avenue in 2019 and 2020 when I worked there. Now, Lamar Sharp and Mar, Michael Broswell, or the other Michael that worked there as a security guard, Canton officers know who they were assigned to the protect lie case. They were in the back because they did been working the investigation to make sure that they weren't part of this, okay? Um, because they let them in the back of a bank as my security team. Well, they were also at Liberty House Share on Hills and Dales Road, June of 19. They told the North Canton Jackson Police, the worst thing you ever did wrong, honey, is bend over and probably we can wipe that one out. Because they only made fun of the back of my knee. The grandma was on the back of your legs, varicose veins. Here, I'll probably get changed. This video chatting with them. I have horrible varicose veins. So even the main officer will give Karen no wrongdoing in life because she wouldn't abuse it. Told everybody in Walmart. He even knew I was innocent. But we all know this one was innocent. They just manipulate these people for their low IQs. 